Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be a year's worth of empties. So if you did not see already in the summer of 2022, I did my half a year's worth of empties. Well, now I have a year's worth of empties and I don't even have enough space to put it all, but I do have my candles down right now. I'm gonna go section by section and go through everything that I used up in the year of 2022. So it is quite a lot. There's so many candles. I definitely went hard on candles last year. There's a ton of body care, a ton of hand soap, um, skincare, makeup, everything. So if you are excited to see that, then just keep watching. But I do want to give a quick disclaimer. I do wanna say that please make sure that you are doing everything that you can to recycle all of these items. So most of these things like the candle jars and the body care are gonna be recyclable. You just have to kind of like wash out the body care candles you have to take out the wax um it's really easy to do actually you just freeze them and then you can kind of stick a like fork or butter knife in there and crack the wax and just throw away the wax and then that way you can recycle the candle jar so just a quick tip on that um but please try and recycle as much as you can from all of these i'll be keeping all the mascara ones that i own and sending them off i believe it's dawn dish soap you can send in mascara ones and they will actually use that to clean off ducks that have been harmed from oil spills so just totally random fact about that but i will list down below any other kind of resources i can find on um recycling makeup skincare beauty whatever products so i will link that down below but i will be doing my best as well to recycle most if not all of everything that can be recycled from my empties so with that being said now let's get into the empties okay i'm gonna give you a quick overview of all the candles laying on my bedroom floor so i did go in order of season so this is like spring summer fall and winter so i didn't finish off too much winter now that i'm looking like i did not finish up that many winter items but yeah let's go ahead and get started okay you'll see for spring and summer it's mostly bath and body works with a few homeworks items down at the bottom and like a few single wicks so it's mostly three wicks so up top i have some coffee candles i have whipped coffee wonderful wonderful scent two cinnamon spice vanillas and paris cafe absolutely adored that one from the summer sas i finished off a few white barn candles in laundry day not my favorite this one had like a weird kind of alcohol smell to it strawberry pound cake solid and mahogany teakwood intense which ryan finished off in his office i have a champagne toast wonderful wonderful scent love every bunny sweet carrot cake which i actually i think is more of a fall scent because it's like a spice cake scent but it was really good uh, positively sweet dark chocolate truffles this was such an amazing scent i hope they bring it back this year for valentine's day it was so good coconut sandalwood i absolutely adore this i already have a backup um, coconut cream pie was also a wonderful wonderful summer scent toasted pineapple marshmallow also a wonderful scent pink petal tea cake i've already got a backup of that one it's really good blueberry pie this year's blueberry pie was not um and i think this is 2022 blueberry pie oh sorry no it's actually Oh no, this was poured in 2021, but this was definitely out in like the first release of spring um, for 2022. But anyways, this one was not very strong, but I do like the scent of blueberry pie. And then strawberry daiquiri. It was like, it was whatever. Um, champagne margarita. This one was absolutely amazing. Smelled exactly like the scent notes on here. And then some homeworks ones. I finished off limoncello cupcake. This was really wonderful chocolate birthday cake this one was meh it didn't have the best throw and mochaccino crumb cake this one also did not have the best throw and then this one is raspberry linzer cookie and it's in this awesome hobnail jar and it was i believe a no it was a four wick actually but this was an absolutely wonderful wonderful scent great like raspberry cookie scent perfect for spring okay now for the fall scent so i do have one random goose creek one i haven't done a goose creek order uh well actually no i have done a goose creek order in 2022 but this one was from 2021 in pumpkin pie it was really nice but i did not like this style of jar or wax i think it just got really sooty and kind of um, icky and mucky near the end so 
won't be getting those again, but they don't actually even sell these from Goose Creek anymore. Okay, I got through a pumpkin bonfire, absolutely one of my favorites for fall. Pumpkin pecan waffles, also a favorite. I got through two pumpkin donut shops from two different years. This is 2020 and this is 2021. This is one of my absolute favorite scents, just like a wonderful powdered donut. And uh, champagne, apple, and honey, this one was really awesome. Cinnamon Irish cream, I could do without. I did not like that one that much. Pumpkin peanut brittle, I've already got backups. Harvest Gathering, a great fall scent, especially for like November. Um, and then Banana Walnut Muffin, not my favorite scent. I know everybody loves this one, but I just don't like the artificial banana scent. I don't know. Um, finish some single wicks. This one is from a local um, small business near me called Light Yo Wicks. She was at a um, farmer's market and I picked up pumpkin spice latte. This one was awesome. Also another pumpkin spice latte from Bath and Body Works. Um, a Target Pumpkin Woods. This was a wonderful scent. And Spooky Cider Lane. Absolutely adored that. Um, a Deep Dish Apple Pie from Homeworks. This one I think is a three wick. Yeah, this was a really wonderful scent, and I, I actually think a really great throw for a three-wick. A Aldi fall flannel shirt, wonderful scent, and a DW Homes dinner roll. This one did nothing for me. I could barely smell it. And then three Homeworks candles. I finished off Harvest Bake Shop. This was okay. It was like a caramely pumpkin. Farm stand pumpkin. This one's awesome. I'm definitely going to look out for it again next year. And Hot Cider Donut, a wonderful, wonderful bakery, apple-y, pumpkin-y donut. It was so good. Okay, and then finishing off with winter. So this is like um, from the beginning of 2022 and then obviously the end of 2022. So I finished off a perfect Christmas. Um, that one's a little too strong for me, honestly. Peppermint sugar cookie, a wonderful, wonderful scent. Uh, blackberry creme frosting was really nice. I think I finished this off in like February. It was a really nice like icing berry scent. Give Hope peppermint marshmallow. Absolutely adore that one. Peppermint hot chocolate. Another one that I adore for like December. Tis the season. Just a wonderful like basic Christmas scent. Crushed candy cane is a new favorite of mine. This one was such a wonderful um, candy cane mint scent. Love cotton candy champagne. This is another one from candle day that I actually ended up finishing off in like this spring. So that one was really wonderful. Uh, red velvet cupcake was not my jam. I did not like this one. It also like tunneled and I lost a wick. So I actually had to put this in the, um, candle crock to finish it off. And I just, I don't know. I did not like it. Same with give warmth marble chocolate cupcake. This one also I had to finish off in the crock cause it just did not want to burn right. And I couldn't smell it when I was burning it. So those two were duds. Um, and then one last homeworks candle and candy cane martini absolutely loved this scent it was pretty strong for being a like mint scent it was really awesome and i definitely would look for it again so with all that being said i finished off 54 candles in the past year that's a lot um i definitely was burning more candles than i used to um especially because i've finally moved into my own um apartment slash house so i'm not in my parents room and my mom did not or I'm not at my parents' house, and my mom did not really enjoy very strong candles, so I had to be careful about what I burned at my parents' house, but now I can just kind of burn whatever I want. So I've definitely been burning a lot more. I do work from home, so I burn pretty much all day long, different candles, like three candles a day. So that's the 54 candles that I finished up in 2022. Let me put out the wax melts, and I'll show you guys those. Okay, I have now laid out all of the wax that I finished in the year of 2022, and I'm going to show you guys by season. This doesn't mean that I necessarily burned these in this season, but this just means, like, this was the spring-themed wax that I bought, summer, fall, and winter. So we'll start with spring and I have a lot of Scentsy that I went through. So I did get through a pink sugarberry mint. All these pink ones were so good. Pink haze, uh, strawberry swirl, rainbows and butterflies, and vanilla blackberry. Um, I got through this little Easter set that they had. This was absolutely amazing. Such a yummy set. Raspberry lollipop, lemon drizzle cake, and blueberry burst. I got through blueberry rush and vanilla bean buttercream. This one I have back stock of, it's amazing. Um, and the last Scentsy one for spring was Mocha Doodle. Um, I got through this random Kringle Candle Lava Cake. I actually did not get through it. It was absolutely wretched. So I'm just going to throw it away like that. 
Um, I got through this Mainstays Crispy Treats. I definitely want to get some more of this one. It was so, so yummy. If I ever am like buying Walmart wax, I will buy one of these. Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla and Cookie Crunch. Absolutely amazing. And this Threshold from Target Vanilla Bean and Amber. This one is such a nice, like clean, cottony, like just did the laundry kind of scent. So yummy. I definitely would repurchase that. Now moving into summer, I finished off a Pina Colada Cha Cha. So, so yummy. Pineapple Sorbet, Grapefruit Sunshine, Clementine, Clementine Cupcake. This one's so amazing. And a Watermelon Wave, Perfectly Pomegranate and Coconut Cotton and cocoa lime finished off these two from mainstays in blueberry sorbet and hazelnut cream finished off these three from um, sonoma i got them all on sale as you can see from kohl's this was fresh morning donuts mango margarita and coconut sea salt i actually enjoyed all three of these i really really loved them and then these two from sensationals and cookies and cream and strawberry crunch both of these were really yummy i actually loved this strawberry crunch it smelled like strawberry sorbet it was really yummy and then for fall, I got through a lot of Scentsy in the fall. I got through Ghostly Greetings, Halloween Town. I love these. Breakfast in Bed, so yummy. Orchard Apple and Spice. Wassail Wonderland, I absolutely adored. This could either be a fall or a winter scent, honestly. Um, cranberry Pumpkin Spice, Honey Pear Cider, and Cozy Chai. Really, really loved Cozy Chai. And um, Toasted Acorn and Oak toasted acorn and oak and graham cracker crunch this one is one of my absolute favorites these two from kringle and country candle welcome home this is like a nice cinnamon vanilla this was actually really yummy and november which was a really nice crisp autumn scent got through these three from oh sorry i didn't realize this was a kringle one i guess i thought it was sensationals but this is a kringle candle white chocolate chai this one was actually really yummy too um these two from sensationals autumn valley and feeling cozy a random homemade fusion. I think this is from Kroger. I actually got gifted this in salted caramel brittle. And then a Better Homes and Gardens vanilla bean and pumpkin. I love this little fall collection that they came out with. It was in the shape of a pumpkin. It was so cute. And then for the winter time, since I really only had like the month of December in last year to finish off winter scents, I didn't finish a lot. Um, but I did get through two cookies for Santa's. These are absolutely amazing. Christmas cactus. I actually really, really enjoyed it. it smelled like a really nice greenery Christmas scent. Peppermint Dreams was a total dream. I should have picked up more of this one. Snow Kiss Cranberry, Candied Cranberry Pecan, and Silver Bells. And then one from Huntington Homes from Aldi and First Snow. This is really, really amazing. And I need to get back into Aldi Wax, Aldi Wax because it was really yummy. And then a Country Candle and a Kringle Candle and Candy Cane Cheesecake and Hot Chocolate. This Hot Chocolate one was really good, but this one was pretty much zero cents. So that is all the wax that I melted in the year of 2022. Let me count it up and tell you guys totals. Okay, I managed to get through 57 wax bars in the year of 2022 so i think 57 is definitely a really good number um kind of shows you how often i go through wax and i definitely um melt more in the fall as you can tell i have a lot more in here um but i definitely still burned or melted a lot in spring and summer too so yeah i had a lot of fun with wax this year really really enjoyed it um definitely delved into scentsy my consultant is actually my friend here on youtube since with ashley p and um i will link her up above if you guys are interested but yeah that is everything for all of the wax melts i do just want to show you guys on um, the back of them they tell you if they are recyclable so on scentsy they have all of these this number one recyclable um label which is the same as like the hand soaps from bath and body works they're number one recyclable so this one can go with those um let's see sensational from walmart it has the one recyclable right at the top um kringle i don't see anything on kringle so i might have to look on their website and if not these might have to get thrown away just a little word about that okay guys i have laid out a year's worth of hand soaps so i did use up quite a bit looking at it from like the camera it doesn't look like that much but in person this is a lot of hand soaps so i separated it by seasons again um we have like kind of spring slash summer in this section right here so three Bath and Body Works ones. We have white t-shirt, pistachio cream puff. This one was so amazing from this past spring. And apparently this is the new pistachio and toasted vanilla candle that went out um, during candle day. And then strawberry pound cake. So those were great. I picked up a few. So this was like in my transition to moving. So we just picked up a few from like a local 
grocery store called H-E-B and then just like randomly wherever. So I picked up these three from H-E-B. We have white sangria, margarita, and peach bellini. They worked. Um, I got this method pink grapefruit one from Ross for $3 and then these two Mrs. Meyers clean day lavender scents. Moving into um, summertime, I finished off a coconut cream pie. Absolutely adored this. Pink pineapple sunrise was also amazing. Rainbow cereal. And then two boardwalk vanilla cones. I think I really, really loved this one. It was like perfect for summertime. And then I have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of fall hand soaps. And then I have one winter. So I guess um, a few, quite a few of these fall ones I actually picked up like during SAS. So I guess that's why I have so many fall ones. I really just pick, pick up um, most of my hand soaps during SAS. So I guess that's why. Um, but we have blueberry donut and blueberry maple pancakes. Ryan is a blueberry fan. So those were his, um, cozy vanilla almond. I might've used this another time besides fall, but I feel like it is a false scent. Um, ghoul friend and perfect pumpkin just absolutely adored this year's Halloween packaging marshmallow fireside, which I think I actually used up in December, but it was just a really wonderful fall slash winter scent. Um, white pumpkin, Autumn S'mores, Toasted Vanilla Chai. This one will be a favorite of mine till the end of time. And then these two kind of more um, earthy, um, kind of fresh scents, Autumn Rainfall and Fall Citrus Harvest. I've really been enjoying these kind of scents um, for hand soaps lately. I used to kind of hate them, but now I really enjoy them. They just feel really clean. And then a Twisted Peppermint. That's the only one I used up in the wintertime. So I guess fall hand soaps are just easier to get at SAS. But here's all the hand soaps I used up in 2022. So I did use up 26 hand soaps. Now this is me living with my boyfriend for most of the year as well. So he did help me finish off a few of these. But yeah, 26 hand soaps total for 2022. All right, this one's going to be a little hard. But this is all of my body care. So as you can tell, I finished off quite a ton of stuff in the year of 2022. I did so good on body care, but this is going to be really hard to show you guys because it's laid out on my floor, but I can't really move that much. So I will do the best that I can. All right, we're going to start up here. These two rows right here are all shower gels. So I only finished one moisturizing body wash. This is actually the first one that I ever tried in this formula in strawberry pound cake. Love, love, loved it, and I do already have more in this formula. It's so good. Finished Raspberry Jam Donut, Cinnamon Donut Swirl, Beach Nights, one of my favorites from last year. A Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Four Play Shower Gel that I need to be need to buy more of because it was so yummy. Almond Blossom and White Pumpkin and Chai, Sugar Cherry Crisp, which I'm so sad is gone from my collection. Winter Candy Apple, Christmas Cookies, and then Ryan finished off a classic flannel and a White Water Rush. Um, I finished off only one single body butter. I only had one last year. I just bought a new one in Midnight Amber Glow for um, 2023, but this was the only one that I had in Winterberry Wonder. It was really nice. And then for lotion, I didn't finish off as many lotions as I did shower gels, but I finished a strawberry pound cake, cinnamon donut swirl, beach nights, confetti cake pop. This one was so amazing. Almond blossom, white pumpkin and chai, whipped vanilla chiffon, and peppermint essential oil. So I finished off 12 uh, shower gels and eight body lotions, not including the body cream. And then for body cream, I finished off five. So we have raspberry jam donut. That one again was also amazing. Margarita cupcake, also amazing. Pink velvet cupcake, also amazing. Christmas cookies and coconut mint drop. Both of those were also amazing. So as you can tell, I usually only buy the body creams and something that I'm obsessed with so these were not hard for me to finish off and I absolutely love them and then I have some minis down here not too many uh, but I have two mini mists one in warm and cozy and one in coconut cream pie I loved both of those um, I have a random flamingo ingrown hair spot treatment this is really nice I actually am using one from bikini zone that I like a lot more now though um, finished off three mini lotions, one in warm vanilla sugar, Merry Christmas ice cinnamon rolls, and Merry Christmas raspberry sugar. And then three mini shower gels, strawberry pound cake, hibiscus paradise, and coconut, sorry, copper coconut sands. I liked this scent a lot. I hope they come back out with it in full size because I will definitely purchase one. Three mini body creams, one in hot cocoa and cream. I really liked that in the mini. Love cotton candy champagne and champagne apple and honey. And some pocket backs right here, a peach prosecco macaron, bu bubbly rose, strawberry pound cake, almond blossom, blueberry crumble, which was one of my absolute favorites, two twisted peppermints, one crack and meat up peppermint sugar cookie, and then one vanilla bean Noel. 
finished off some perfumes. This was the only like semi full size perfume, Victoria's Secret Tea's Heartbreaker. This one I really, really enjoyed and I definitely want to try some more Victoria's Secret scents. So let me know down below your favorite Victoria's Secret scent because I need to work on finishing up some more and I just want to try some more. I finished off these three little mini ones. These are from, oh my gosh, I can't think of the brand, but I will put it up on the screen. But this is Tangerine Squeeze, which was okay. Um, Vanilla Bourbon was my favorite one. And then Cloud Musk was also good. And then this one from Replica and Autumn Vibes. This was really nice for autumn. <laughs> Um, I finished off these six body scrubs. I have two from Onyx Bathhouse. One is Dimbun's Dough um, Cinnamon Sugar. That one was nice. And then Stay Toasty Toasted Marshmallow. That one was also really nice. I finished off one Tree Hut Scrub and Pumpkin Spice Latte. This was an absolute favorite for the fall. And I hope they bring it back out next year. A Dove Crushed Almond and Mango Butter. This is really nice. I need to get my hands on some more Dove body scrubs because they're very very gentle and great for every day and then two from bath and body works one in sweet whiskey this is the celestial body scrub and I, that was the first time i ever tried this formula and i really really loved it it left my skin kind of like shimmery and really pretty and then sunrise woods and the creamy body scrub also the first time i've tried the creamy one and i really really enjoyed that one too it was very moisturizing and then i finished off four um deodorants i might have finished off more but threw them away i don't remember but these two I really love, coconut and hibiscus. And then these two I just got because I couldn't find anything else. But I do like this degree brand. And then I finished off eight hand creams. Strawberry pound cake, whipped berry meringue, pink pineapple sunrise, white coconut caramel, sweet whiskey, love cotton candy champagne, hot cocoa and cream, and merry cookie. I finished off four shave creams. Two in this EOS form, um, sensitive skin and dry skin. I liked both of those. I finished off one from Dionys, the goat milk shea butter. I really enjoy this one. And then one from EOS in just like the regular formula. This was Vanilla Bliss. I didn't like this regular formula. I much prefer this one in the tube to this one. Um, a four pack of Flamingo razor refills. And then this random bath soak. So this was like bath crystals for aches and pains. And I think I got this from Walmart a very long time ago, but I just decided to finish it. So that's like the only bath product that I finished though. But yeah, that is all of my body care. I'm just going to put up the total on the screen because I don't feel like counting it right now. So future Victoria, that one is up to you. Okay, laid out right here, I have all of the wallflowers that I used in 2022. As you can tell, we were obsessed with these Glade plugins. Um, and I only used one car refill. So I'll start with this one. I think it's something pumpkin-y. It's either pumpkin pecan waffles or like something spicy. I can't tell what it is. Um, but I basically haven't been using my car this year because I transitioned from working in the office to working 100% remote. So I haven't, I don't use my car as much as I used to, which was twice a day for two hours total. Um, so yeah, I just really haven't even been using those. So I only finished one. Um, and I'll start up here. This is spring and summer. So summer up here, I have actually two mahogany coconuts. I was really feeling that scent, I guess. Uh, blackberry and basil, sunshine, mimosa, Waikiki beach coconut. Again, I have two of those. So I was really feeling the coconut vibes in the summer. Sunwashed citrus, wild berry jam donut, laundry day, cozy linen, smoked vanilla. This was one of my absolute favorites. Really, really yummy scent and market peach and strawberry pound cake this one was also really great and for fall and winter i have two that i don't remember what they were i think this might be hot cocoa and cream and something maybe like mahogany teakwood or something i can't, i don't know what that one was um but lakeside morning pumpkin snickerdoodle pumpkin clove these two were so delicious this one was perfect i had it going like october november Oh, just like the best pumpkin-y scent for people to walk in the house to. It was so nice. And then this one smelled just like I was baking cookies. It was like a little deceiving, but so yummy. Um, Wicked Vanilla Woods, Twas the Night Before Christmas, which was another really great one. And so was Twisted Peppermint in the bathroom. Peppermint Sugar Cookie, Winter Candy Apple, and Vanilla Bean Noel. And then for Glade plugins, I only used the linen... I can't remember what the scent is, but I think it's like fresh linen scent. So that's what all these are. And then this one is like the hibiscus one that I used once in the summer. So total, I used up one car fragrance refill 
and 34 wallflowers. So it definitely was going through them pretty quickly this year. I use one um, downstairs in like our entryway. I use one upstairs um, just in like the hallway. And then I use one in my bedroom. So three total Bath and Body Works ones. And then I have a few of these just throughout the house. Um, just because we have a dog and it starts to stink sometimes if we don't have them. So we just have those randomly wherever. But yeah, so got through that many wallflowers. Okay, now time for makeup. And I am including kind of like chapstick lip care in makeup. So I finished off two of these Make It Last Milani um, setting sprays. These are my favorite ones. I'm trying out the matte one right now and I really don't like it. I love this original. Um, I finished off one mini milk makeup bronzer stick in the shade Baked. Really like this one. I already bought another one from Sephora. Um, I finished off three eyeliners. So I finished off an Ico black liquid liner, a wet and wild brown felt tip liner, and an Etude House Drawing Eyes Brown Liner. I really love this Etude House one. I found it at TJ Maxx though, so I don't know where I would find it again, um, but it was really, really awesome. Um, finished off two lip glosses or lipsticks. This is the NYX Butter Gloss Little Mini. Um, I don't even know what shade this is. What is it? Glazy Days. And then a mini Bite Beauty Lip Crayon in the shade Glaze. And then a e.l.f. lip scrub. This is just the regular brown sugar scrub. I finished off um, a lot of lip, lip care items. Chapstick, um, a little chapstick and pumpkin pie. A Burt's Bees pomegranate chapstick. A Too Faced Hangover RX little like tube. This is so, so yummy. I loved this. Two of the Jack Black lip balms in Shea Butter. I adore this one. I already have like a few in my purse and like I always keep these on me. And a Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Grapefruit. I finished off this entire thing. This was like the holy grail of last year. Totally worth the hype. I got mine at uh, TJ Maxx though, so definitely save a buck by getting it there. I finished off this Eco Tools Brush Shampoo. Um, the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I honestly thank you guys that I had had this since... It was popular in like 2016, so don't judge me, but I finished it. Um, I finished off three mascaras, um, three, six, nine months. So I probably should keep monitoring my mascaras because I should be going through like four a year because you're only supposed to have one every three months. So yeah, keep me, uh, keep me your thoughts and prayers on that one. But I finished off a Mary Kay Lash Love Fanorama Mascara, this Rare Beauty Mini, and a Tarte Man Eater. I adored this Rare Beauty one. I think I got a set from Sephora where you can redeem it for a full size, and I'm going to redeem it for the Rare Beauty one. It was so, so good. I finished off three brow gels. I finished off an Essence Brow Essence one, a um, Brow Power, I think is what, or Wow Brow from e.l.f., and then a ColourPop brow gel. All of these were like okay. I think these two were okay, but nothing keeps my eyebrow hairs down like without feeling crunchy. So I don't know. I still am not the biggest fan of brow gel. I've moved on to like the brow wax from e.l.f., but yeah. And then I finished off two of these Maybelline concealers. These are my holy grails. The Mary Kay under eye corrector, also a holy grail in the e.l.f. camo concealer. This is the hydrating one, which I did like in the summertime. You can tell this is a darker shade. Um, this is darker than what I use right now. This is actually the shade a light beige. I think now I use like light sand. So, um, but yeah, I really like the hydrating one and I like the matte one too for, um, when I'm like a little more oily, but yeah, that's all of the makeup items that I used up in 2022. Not too much. Um, and I definitely need to keep an eye out for my mascaras, but in total, I finished off 27 makeup products in 2022. So yeah, that is all of the makeup. Okay, moving on to skincare. So I have separated everything by kind of different types of treatments. So this is all like um, serums. This is all toners. Um, these are like miscellaneous, all of my face wash and all of my moisturizer and some sunscreen. So I will start off up top with some serums. I have the Pacifica Clean Shot BHA AHA Peel. I did actually like this. I have three of the Mary Kay Clinical Solutions vitamin C serum and I have one of the ceramide serums. I go through this stuff like water. It's so good. Um, I finished off an ordinary marine hyaluronics that did nothing for my skin. A um, Liliana Naturals vitamin C serum. It was okay. 
Um, an epidural forte from my um, dermatologist was really great, actually instrumental for my skin. And then a Liliana Naturals eye cream. I did really like this one. I finished off six toners, two in the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow. This one, um, so I was basically like trying out a bunch of different stuff this year, but this one I've landed on is my absolute favorite. So I've already repurchased that. Um, Ryan actually finished this Urban Skin RX Witch Hazel Toner. Didn't really do much for him. Um, finished off this La Roche-Posay Ethiclar Clarifying Solution. It was okay. Um, a Clear Proof Blemish Control Toner from Mary Kay. And a Peach and Lily Good Acids Pore Toner. I got this for Ryan too, and it, it did nothing for him either. And this was expensive, so that's kind of sad. Um, I finished off one Cosrx Snail Mucin Essence. This stuff is so amazing. Like, absolutely amazing. Totally recommend if you have texture on your skin. And then a NYX Micellar Water which I'm actually really sad that they discontinued this, so I can't find it anywhere. Really, really sad about that. Um, so moisturizer, I finished off one from, this is actually Ryan finished off a Mary Kay Clear Proof Moisturizer for acne prone skin, a Hero Cosmetics Clear Collective Probiotic Moisturizer. I did not like this stuff. It felt really weird on my skin. Um, and then three CeraVe Moisturizing Lotions, two in the huge full-size ones and one in the mini. I finished off two Super Goop sunscreens, one in the Play and one in matte screen. I did like this matte one for summertime, um, and I did like this Super Goop like, regular Play one, um, but I found it was really hard to blend in. Right now, I'm really loving my Biore um, Japanese sunscreen. It's like a water serum. It's really, really nice, so definitely prefer that over those. But um, And then for cleansers, I finished... Both Ryan and I finished off these four Clear Proof Cleansing Gels from Mary Kay. I use this every night, and I use a separate, more gentle cleanser in the morning, and Ryan uses this every time he washes his face. Finished off a CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser. I kind of want to give this a second try again. I finished off a Pixi Glow Tonic Cleanser. This one was nice. I didn't notice too much of a difference, but I did actually really like it. Um, a Mary Kay Extra Emollient Night Cream. This is great for when my skin gets super dry in the winter. And then an Arcona Mini White Tea Purifying Cleanser. I just finished that off. Like, I didn't like it at all, but I just finished it. So that's all of the stuff that I finished off in 2022 for skincare. So I will put up the total on the screen because I honestly don't know right now. <laughs> um, but a lot of skincare. So I think I did really good. Alrighty. So I've laid out all of my hair care. And we're going to go through all of the stuff that I used in 2022. So I did actually only use Joico for the most part of uh, 2022. So I'm in love with it. So I used up two full-size shampoos, one um, full-size conditioner. This is a jumbo size Joico Moisture Recovery Moisturizing Collection. I can't recommend this enough. Um, and look, I even have the tag still on. $19.99 from TJ Maxx so amazing for my hair. I used to struggle with um, eczema on my scalp and flakiness and it has all gone away. So, um, and then here's just a smaller size of the conditioner. I believe this one's like $10, like $9.99 and this one's 20. So definitely recommend the jumbo because as you can tell, two shampoos lasted me all year long. Crazy. Um, this uh, Derma E Scalp Relief Conditioner. I tried this one out. It was actually really good, but I prefer the Joico one. But if you can't find Joico, this one actually was really amazing. And I believe I found it at Target. I think they also have it at Walmart. So just a good option. Um, and then I finished off four of these Love Beauty and Planet Sulfate-Free Shampoo Scrubs. So I use this in conjunction with the Joico shampoo. So um, every time I wash my hair, I will either swap between one, one of two routines. So I, I'll either do the Joico shampoo and conditioner, or I'll do this scrub and a hair mask. So I only wash my hair about twice a week. So I alternate between the two. But anyways, um, this one is amazing, like $6 at Target. I think they discontinued it. So I just bought five to hoard, um, from Amazon coming in from like China or something. So I'm going to be really sad when I run out of this stuff, but I finished off four this year. Finished off two Living Proof Scalp Care Dry Scalp Treatments. Again, this one is a lifesaver for my scalp. Um, finished off two different types of hair masks. So this is the Ava NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. I didn't really like this one. I didn't find that it did anything for my hair, so I definitely won't repurchase it. And it was expensive. And same with this Brio Geo Don't, Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Everybody raves about this stuff, but I didn't see any difference in my hair. Maybe it's not meant for my hair type, which is like... Um, 
wavy, curly, frizzy, and super thick. So maybe I just got the wrong one, but I don't think this is worth, what, $35, $40? It did not, I didn't notice any difference with my hair. Um, I only finished off one curl product, and that is the Dippity Do Girls with Curls Curl Defining Cream, also from TJ Maxx. Oh, from Marshalls, actually, for $6. I love this stuff. I definitely will get that again. Um, I finished off a few minis that I wanted to share with you guys. I got this Brio Geo Farewell Frizz um, Trio. This is shampoo, shampoo, conditioner, and a leave-in conditioning spray. This did absolutely nothing for my skin. I actually kind of hated it. So not my skin, I'm sorry, for my hair. I kind of hated it. So don't recommend that one. Um, but these two were really great. This is the AG Hair Care Fast Food Leave-In Conditioner. I got this a long time ago. Um, either as like a Sephora freebie or like through BoxyCharm or something. And this was really good. And even better, this Sol de Janeiro Milky Leave-In Conditioner. Not only does it smell like bum bum cream, it's so amazing in the hair so i definitely will uh get a full size of this once i run out of all my leave-in conditioners which i have a lot of backups so that might take a while um i finished off this coco and eve like a virgin hair mask little foil packet i didn't really care that much about it um and then oh this is actually another curl product this is the herbal essence totally toasted curl boosting mousse i use um these two so like a mousse and a gel whenever i do my hair curly um ryan actually finished off this tresemme hairspray um, he also finished off this flexible control from Garnier Fritis. I finished off the sleek and shine and he finished off this chi and for texture. So, uh, he actually finished off most of these hairsprays. I just finished off one, but yeah, that is everything for all of the hair care that I finished in 2022 in total. That would be 25 hair products. So I think I did really great this year. Um, I definitely have gotten rid of kind of a back stock that I used to have of like a bunch of little mini hair care items. Um, this next year, I'm going to try to get through a lot of hair oils um, and really like focus on my the ends of my hair and protecting them with those oils. So yeah, that's all the hair care for 2022. Okay, you guys, I'm sitting on the floor because that was a lot to film. I filmed this over the past like week and a half because I have so much crap and not enough time to record it all. So I hope you enjoyed that year of empties. That was a lot of work to do, and I don't think I will do it again. So I'll probably be throwing them away after every month now because it's so much easier to recycle too. So anyways, <laughs> that was a really long video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I thought it was really fun, and I posted all this on Instagram as well if you want to check that out. But yeah, that's everything for this video. Kind of a weird outro, but I'm so tired after filming that. So I'm going to go have a snack. But <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!